All right, guys, my favorite time of the week, and no pain, no gain. It's our weekly look at uh, some of the ideas that we've talked about. Usually they have to be in the news. Usually the criteria is if they've reported, that's number one. If they've been upgrades or downgrades, that's number two, or if there's something within the industry. So first up is FLT. That's Fleet Corps. I mentioned this one back in December. It's up 10% so far. Uh, it wavered a little bit. Uh, they reported, though. They beat the street. I'm going to hang on there, even though it's uh, like the broad market. It may give a little bit back. I, I know some of you would be tempted to take the 10%. If you're that kind of an investor slash trader, I wouldn't talk you out of it, but we're holding this. You follow this one too, right? Yeah, now? I'd hold it here. I think it's come down with the transportation sector is related to that. So I would hold it here. Wouldn't add, but I'd hold. Micron Technology, MU. Let me tell you guys a quick story, Micron. Uh, you guys know J.R. Simplot? J.R. Simplot grew up as a dirt poor kid in Iowa, uh, Idaho, and his next door neighbor had a pretty big spread of farm, but he didn't have any kids, and he was an alcoholic. So he gave it to the kid. He gave it to J.R. Simplot when he was 14 years old, grew up, ended up selling potatoes to a company called McDonald's for their french fries. Wow. Anyway, he invented in another company called Micron. Uh, so I know it's kind of goofy, but I had to wait, uh, do some time up here. MU is a symbol. Uh, I gave you this one back in August, and it hit a real rough patch. It's down 14%. Uh, here's the thing that, I don't, that bothers me a lot. There's been a rumor that they lost a big Apple contract to Samsung. It hasn't been corroborated that I could see. Nomura actually downgraded the stock yesterday. JPM Securities actually defended the stock. I'm going to stick with this one. I think it's going to go to $40. Semiconductors, Mike Ryan, you're a little nervous with this. I, right? I am. I like the semis. I own Intel. That's my holding because of the dividend. If this breaks 28, I would cut my losses, though. I think it goes much lower. Yeah, if it cuts 28, I'm going to reevaluate yeah. it as well. Opco Health, uh, you want to talk about a miss. Now, by the way, I'm up 12% from last month, but we were up even more. They lost 12 cents, 8 cents, right? 12 cents. The street thought they were going to lose 8 cents. It, this is not a quarterly earnings play just yet. It's got a big pipeline of amazing drugs or drugs that could potentially be amazing. I'm in this one. I know you loved this one before. You still like it? I this? still love it. And this is about 90% in two months before this pullback. I mean, this is when you kind of put away to look at it for a year. This is your risking aggressive money, but I would, I'd be buying into this dip longer term. Last but not least is Arts and Crafts giant Michael Stores. The symbol is M-I-K. Gave this one to you in January, and it is up 20%. You know, with this one, Constance, you don't even have to buy a Snuggies. You can make your own. I'm <laughs> telling you, no one maybe let me go with, go with this. I'm not a Snuggie my, owner. My daughter, for some reason, wanted a sewing machine for Christmas. Wow! I, I, I thought you had to go. To, huh? I thought you had to go like to a junkyard to find them. So I go into Michael Stores and there's this big sewing machine thing, and it's amazing. By the way, I was in it before when they were taken over by Hedge Fund years ago, and they went back public. So I started asking questions. I started doing the numbers. Amazing. My kids and their mom. My kids and their mom live it. Stronger dollar, lower costs for retailers. That's going to help. Yep. But watch their labor costs because you could end up in a position where labor costs begin to outpace the growth of. Well, my salesperson prices. was a robot. All right, guys. <laughs>